Hey guys, this is Miss Lady Vixen, and I'm coming to you with my daughter's H&M shopping haul. Now, before I even go into this, I just want to explain a couple of things. Um, my nickname is the Clearance Queen. I have shopped all year. To me, um, saving money is a very big thing to me, but I, um, you know, there's a lot of goals that I'm trying to reach, but I don't want my daughter to, um, suffer while I'm doing it. Well, not really suffer, because she has all the things she wants. It's just, I'm very wise about doing it. I need a, um, so yeah. So, I went to H&M the other day, and I got her a couple of things. I only spent $40, okay? So, I'm going to start off with her cute and lovely shoes. These are all back to school stuff. And, um, her shoes. They're like a blue jean slipper, which is very cute. And I only spent $3 on them. So, yeah. I shop only clearance for her, or there's very few times I will actually go out and, um, shop the regular rack. I will shop them for, like, um, if they have, like, a 10, 20% off or XYZ, if you have, like, super cash back or whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, the next item of clothing I got for my daughter is a, um, Mickey Mouse shirt. Again, this is $5. And, um, she loved it. She really, really loved Mickey. Oh, Minnie Mouse, I should say. Sorry. Um, the next couple of items of clothing will be, they're basically the same type button-up type of, um, clothing. But, um, she, she likes this. She's, my daughter is one of those kids that, um, they know what they like. And this is one of those things that she likes because she likes to wear leggings and this looks perfect with some leggings underneath. So, oh, let me, um, do this clothing first. Again, and then, um, Ducky, Minnie, I don't know her name, Daisy, Daisy, yeah, Daisy, it said $10, but actually, it was only $3, she rang it up for $3, so, it's very cute, my daughter loves, you know, the Disney characters and stuff like that, and, um, I'm going to show you the other stuff before I show you the polo, um, again, this one was $3, so, it's just the shirt with a big old smile on the face. Um, and the great thing about shopping clearances, you can also get a lot of clothing for next year. Um, my only tip for that, if you're planning on buying stuff to next year, I have found that I could go a little bit overboard. If you haven't seen her closet behind me, I could go, go a little bit overboard. And, um, the only thing I say to that is, um, buy a tub, stick to your tub, like a, um, you know, those tubs they use for college or whatever, stick to that tub. If you're saying, oh, I'm going to buy new clothes for my kid, just stick to it, just, um, know when that tub is full, you're done for that season. So, you know, I'm, if I'm starting to shop right now for, um, for next year's summer, I will actually say, okay, because she has a lot of clothes right now, I don't do a lot of shopping right now, I'll be like, okay, let me only buy enough for half the tub. Let me, um, do this or do that, but that's what I normally do. But, um, this is for next year. She fell in love with this. She was bothering me for a bikini so badly, like, oh my god, guys, I wanted to kill her. But, no. <laughs> But this is her little bikini. Like, yes, for next year. I said she could wear one next year. And it's originally $14.95, only $3. So, yep, that's her bikini. Okay, and the next couple of items that are the uh, those shirts I was saying. And again, these were only $3. And she loves wearing them with some leggings underneath. Again, you're probably looking at these clothes and saying they're a little bit big. But my daughter is 
seven years old and um she fits into well the beginning of last year she fit into a uh, um medium and a uh, um size eight pants like anytime i put buy her new jeans like i bought her some new jeans i always go by her age right now she's um, last year she was a six, so I went with an eight because she's taller than um, most six-year-olds would be at that time. So I had to um, buy her clothes that were she could grow into it. And my only thing about that is make sure that when you buy clothes like that, that's a little bit bigger, is especially with the pants. Um, they have those little elastic buckles inside, so you can like make the waist smaller than what it, um, what they have already because that really helps believe it or not it really really helps and um, if you're handy with a needle it also helps to hem up their pants or whatever they, however you say that so again that's that um, and, and another great green shirt. She picked out these lovely, lovely colors. Again, $3. These are all $3. And, uh, um, another, like, um, check it type shirt. So, oh my. And this, this is the only thing I paid the full price for in the whole store. And, I, I, she picked it up. She just loves it. It's a nice little brim hat. It's, I can't step down. It's a nice little brim hat. Um, uh, um, it was um, eight dollars. That's the most expensive thing I bought for her thus far. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. nine articles of clothing for what forty dollars? I think that's an awesome deal right there. Oh, ten! I forgot the shoes. That's that's awesome right there. Nobody can say that's not a great deal. So, um, that's that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe please, and um, see you later.